going on? It's Cos311 back, Tiger 14, career. We're heading into our next event. Um, I leveled my guy up to 100 last night, so he's maxed out, finally. And I unlocked Kilt. My I got my USA Polo shirt on, um, Ryder Cup Polo, I believe it's called. I got the funky Tom Kite glasses. So I'm, I'm good to go. I'm ready. And the sandals. I'm ready to go. So we got Oakmont Champions Club, a tough-ass course. Especially, yeah, it's just a tough course. A lot of blind shots. Um, that doesn't really affect you if you're if you're not playing where you if you play where you can zoom to your target, that doesn't matter. But if you play like without that ability, it actually makes it pretty makes it pretty tough because you can't really see where you're aiming. EA so. Sports and the PGA Tour are proud to present. And I also I've backed off. So good to be back again at Oakmont. I practiced Advanced for about two days on this course and I couldn't shoot EA for shit. Sports. And I finally got too frustrated so I did back off and I'm going back to I'm still on simulation difficulty for everything except the swing I'm back to going up and down um it was just too it was too much it was just it was kicking my ass I'm not good enough for it it's hard to admit that but it's true oh god and that's a terrible start but in all honesty, it was really frustrating. I actually broke a controller for the first time since I was like 12 years old. Um, I was so frustrated. So I just said, fuck it. It's not worth it. So I apologize to those who liked seeing that style. Um, but I probably practiced this course. Come on, wind. I hit that too far right on the ball, so it's not going to turn. I practiced this course, I don't know how many times I played this. I practiced the tournaments by playing like the first round of the tournament, and then I just turn it off on like 16 or 17 so it doesn't save. I, and uh, so I can try to practice on the course conditions before I record it. And I probably practiced this tournament about 20 times. That was terrible. I gotta stop talking. That was a horrible, horrible shot. I'm gonna bogey this hole now. A par attempt. Unless I make that nice. Putt. Wow. That was a hair that yeah, horrible chip. Anyway, I practiced this tournament so many times and I just couldn't I can't do it. I'm not good enough. So there's another reason why too is that I wouldn't actually record it until I felt I was able to able to shoot well so I've gone like two or three days without recording a video so it's, it would have just taken me forever to get through this career if I would have stuck on that as well which isn't good That's because good I'm not putting videos out hole. and uh, you know I should I probably if I didn't have it if I wasn't practicing that difficulty that swing if I stayed like this um, I probably would have at least three more videos out, four more videos out, but because of that, I have none. So that's another reason. It's just kind of slowing down what I'm doing, which I don't like either. So, all that being said, nice. A good shot. Nicely done. I'm going back to this. So, like I said, it's still simulation. Everything's simulation except for the swing. And it's still not easy. Ready to conquer this hole. This for birdie. I can't believe I just so missed close. that. Uh, just a tap in from there. It's a great play to sink that putt. And oh my god. Level bar. All right, let's get focused finally. Fucking bullshit in this whole first two holes. I can't believe I missed that putt. He drove that one with authority. I do have the prototype clubs now because I got to level 100. I locked all of them. I'm thinking level 98 or 99 or something. You unlock two of them or two parts of it. And once you hit 100, you unlock the rest. So I do have those and I'm using them. 
and those things are pretty crazy because they're basically sand wedge here and this is the weak one 60 degrees looks good from they basically had they killed they're great in every stat they may be the best in every stat, but I didn't compare every club, so I don't know that. But they're pretty awesome in every stat except accuracy, where they're like 45, which is probably one of the worst in every stat of every club. So they're very inaccurate. But if you can consistently hit the ball straight, you ha you can use them. Oh my God! Wow! Never expected a putt from that distance to get so close. Oh, so anyway, yeah, so they're pretty sweet um, because the, the you can hit them hard. Um, the view of last week they hurt. spin well, all that shit. But like I said, they have a 45 accuracy, so you have to hit it straight or else the ball is just going somewhere crazy, somewhere you don't want it to go. Beautiful. Lovely straight lines in that swing. Solid impact, and that's nicely in the fairway. So we got three three. This is one of those tough holes here. You can't really see where you want to hit the ball. The par five, it's actually a pretty um, skinny fairway up there. You want to aim it. It's pretty tough, actually. If you go too far over, you're actually going to miss the fairway to the left. So you need to try to find that spot. See, I still—I didn't know. I thought I was definitely on the right side. And I was still kind of left side of the fairway. What's he got over there, David? So, yards left, Jimmy. About a good six iron for you. Got 112 into the wind, but it's downhill. The wind shouldn't take it too much here. It might take it though more than I thought. Think. Sometimes it likes to do it. Wow, that hung up big time. Wow. Ah, come on, Scales. Let's try to put this if we can below feet 1.8. Not enough break. Stop. Oh, they missed one there. Holds at even par with that putt. Par five, and I can't birdie it. These are the players who lead the pack when it comes to putting average. Fuck. Uh, well, I just hit the wrong button. Okay, so we got this hole is... Another one, you can't really see where you're hitting it. But if you hit a driver off this tee, you're pretty much going to be through the fairway into the rough. So you want to try to hit a soft three wood. If there's wind on your back like this. Because it goes downhill up here. And it will roll through. Really good play off the tee here. At least 300 yards and in the fairway. It will roll right through there easily. If you hit a driver, you're definitely going there. Go in the hole. Oh man, that was a close. Birdie opportunity looming after that beautiful strike. But yeah, this is not really a difficult hole. Still gotta make your putt though. And I've not been putting very good right now. This to pick up a shot to par. Perfect All right. stroke. From that distance, terrific putt. Yeah, as long as you hit a three wood and you're in that fairway, you got a little wedge in. And uh, if you're any good at wedges, you should be able to have a decent birdie putt. Look at all those bogeys. That's all because I was trying to play with the other swing, and I just couldn't do shit.
so frustrating. Anyway, so we got, what do we got here? 198, downhill into the wind. Try to go with this one club down. Hit a little soft. Land softer. If you're able to hit good fades, a lot of times hitting a fade into these greens would be nice because the ball lands a lot softer. But I'm not very. I'm terrible at fades. I rarely hit them accurate, so I kind of stay away from them. But it would improve probably improve and to go a further shot under par my game quite a bit if I was able to do it well oof yeah I'm gonna be disappointed with that effort I thought that was gonna be pretty good actually Let's just play this on the very well, we edge of the cup here this is for par Right, so one under I can't this quiz a course man it's not easy two in a row Oak Hill's a bitch this course is a bitch now that's the way you play golf this par four is always into the wind, man. Every time I play this goal, it's been into the wind. And then you have like 240 on your second shot on a par four. It's absolutely ridiculous. Can't even see the green. No idea where those bunkers are. You get enough of it, you want to try to lay it up in between the bunkers, of course. Oh, thing changed. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Going with a lob wedge. This will be the lob wedge or 60 degree. Go in, go in, yes. Perfect. And in the hole, what a shot. Oh, I needed that. Time to get an update on the tournament leaders. I usually don't watch those shots, my replays, but I'm watching that one. Oh, that was absolutely huge. And now we got the par four, the par three that's basically unreachable when the wind's in your face like this. in our driver and it's can't get there which just seems crazy I guess you could hit a low shot but I don't know if you hit a low you can't hit if you hit the low driver it's not gonna make it there either I don't think uh, maybe if you throw a little hook on a little draw on it but I still don't think it's gonna make it there so you kind of just want to get up here Get in spot for a chip, get it close. Ooh, almost home. made two in a row. And uh, get your par if the wind's in your face. Now, if the wind's not in your face, you can make it. But when it's blown in your face, knocking your ball down 20 and yards or so, 30 yards. What has it been up to this point? Take a look. Then uh, you need to, you're going to have trouble there. Basically yes. aim for that flag nice pole. That's a great you way see, to start a hole. it's a good spot to aim. And you don't want to go in that right bunker, so aim left here, especially with that wind.
Nice. One up a club. Needed it. Looking at a birdie opportunity. That's a crazy green. It's like a big square. It's gigantic. It's insane how big this green is. Alright, come on. Let's get a couple in a row here. The front nine with a birdie here. This is for his birdie. All right, right oh. in the hole. After, after taking all that time, I better make that putt. That was very indecisive on that one. And it didn't look like it was really breaking, but to this point? you knew it was going to break a little bit. All right, three under. I can take that. I haven't blown up yet, so no big. No bad, bad holes. He knows how to make this game fun when you drive it like that. About one and a quarter All left right. to the hole. Puffy one. Take a little off that ball. No, with the wind and the hill. Yes. Ooh! That's nicely played. About six feet left for birdie. It's a good spot to be. Starting the back nine with a chance for birdie. And that one was to tie for the lead. Getting in a roll now. Getting on a roll. How has this hole been playing so far? This hole's been playing pretty good. 15 birdies, one bogey. 374. That's probably why. I can't tell how far it is for that break, though. The green's way up there. That break's got to be... Wow. Yeah, they're giving me a three wood. Okay. Uh, I probably could hit a soft driver. With that wind, I probably could have just hit a driver, but it's okay. Sit down. I wanted to take a little off it, and I didn't. I should have. I thought that way might be a little too much. I wanted to hit in the 175s. It was like a 180 or so. 60 degree sand wedge shot from here. Beauty. Oh! I knew it was going to break, but I played too much. Save will feel like a birdie. God, I almost made that one. See all these holes I played? That's all practicing with the the other drop with the other swing. And I was probably shooting four over par, or five over par with that swing out here. And Oakmont couldn't improve enough to actually justify playing with it until I improve at it. It would also just be a miserable experience watching what was going on. I probably wouldn't Perfect be making swing, the cut. And that is long. Yeah, that came together quite well. All right, so par five below feet. A little bit. It's gonna be, but it's definitely gonna. The wind should take her. A little bit. Kind of probably even each other out actually.
266 should be enough. It's downhill with the wind. Yeah, that's enough. I tend to hit the ball way short these days, or I don't. I usually don't get it to the hole as often. So I'm always thinking I'm a little off on my distance, knowing exactly where to hit it. That one just uh, was pretty obvious, I think. For the eagle. God, this is a lot of break on this putt. It still wasn't enough. Wow. I thought it overcompensated big time. A new leader. Nice. And a very good chance for birdie. Wow, I thought I was going to break a little bit. Wow. Well, I couldn't quite get the speed right there. That was horrible. I thought I was going to break it downhill. I thought it'd be a little slicker than that. All that's left for par. Nice Oof. Kind of. That's a big par putt. I almost had a longer putt coming back than my first one. I probably, I didn't play, it was downhill, and I didn't play enough downhill. It probably would have broke if I had just hit it way too hard. One right through the break. The wind in his face here, and I going with the driver. Hundred and five yards left. This kind of reminds me of that shot I had earlier. I thought was definitely going to make it, and the wind really held it up. I'm going to go an extra club. Usually the wedges, it doesn't affect it, but that wind, yeah, see, that was a good call because that just sits up there, dies. After that beautiful shot. Looking at a sweet birdie. Come on, baby. Break. An excellent Fuck. attempt on that putt, but just missed. Back to pars. These players have taken home the most cash so far on the season. The other thing, another reason why, there's multiple reasons why I went back to this swing. Main one being frustration, but the other reason is that you need to be in the top 50 to get in the Masters. I don't think I would have made it. I know I wouldn't have made it in the top 50. He's fearless off the tee, Dave. And I'm not sure if you still can make it in the top 50. In the fairway, sitting well. Um, they do have quite a bit of events before the Masters, so you may be able to make it. Uh, last year, I can't remember if you made it in the first year or not. Looks like the pitching wedge from here. It's 
Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Spin. Do something. Green, Fuck. But left a tough putt remaining. Yeah, that's a tough downhill, massive putt. Oh my god. Really? Let's look at the next one. And the next one. And possibly the one after that. Wow. I was nervous. I've hit it too long like that last hole. And I played way too short. And this one is for a par. Nope. Fuck. All right. Decent effort. A hard hole to par and settles for both. Oh, that Losing sucks. That sucks. Horrible putt. <sighs> you gotta get that stroke back. That's not gonna make it with that wind. Three wood, I believe. Play a little light three wood. It's still gonna be long though. Fuck. Sit. Sit. If I hit that other First club, I don't think it's gonna make it with the wind. Fairway. It's blowing the a little bit in our face. Is the second cut, and it's not a good <sighs> Just a bad execution. I think I had the right idea. Just a bad ex bad execution. Sit. Half luck, half talent. What a shot. Half luck my ass, Jim. It's all talent to hit the ball past the green into the rough. All right, we got two left. We're hanging in there. Check out the top performers in the tournament so far to this yeah, point. Yeah, our greens aren't very good, huh? Two holes left, and we only got ten. This is a crazy hole. It's short, but it's up way uphill. So you can't really make the green. Um, but it's almost better, and it's kind of weird to me. It's an easier shot if you're, like, in the rough on the left or in one of those beaches almost because you have a lo an easy shot in the green. If you're on the right... I'm going to just knack it up there. I'll probably end up in a beach or in a something. But I usually play the hole better from here. If you see, it's a wide open, open shot right in the here. green be in the cut. from here. There's no bunker to worry about. If you're on the right side, a lot. if that pin's on the right, then you have almost no room to work with. Even if you're in the fairway. I, t I find it to be difficult. So I like to just hit it here, really. Take my lumps... I'm not hitting the fairway. Because you can actually hit a regular a regular wedge, run it up there a little bit. Well, you can't really do that that often from the right side. So, yeah, see, that's a... How did he pull off makes that the hole a lot easier. So in the few holes, I would almost suggest you not hit the fairway. Just go for the green. I mean, maybe eventually you can make the green if the wind's bright anyway. But even if you don't, I like hitting it there. All the way, and that's birdie. <sighs> I mean, I always, I, if I can make a green, I go for it. On a par five or a par, or you know, a par four, if I can drive the green, I'll most likely just try to hit it, even if I'm, you know, if there's a slight chance, because that's just, I don't know, just fun to me to try to go for it. It's not the smartest thing to do all the time. That's a great way to get the hole started. But it is how well, I do it. Just a bit more than 225 yards here. So this is pretty much right in our face. Uphill, as usual. This course has tons of uphill approach shots. 
So we need to go at least at least 50. That might be good. That's 40 yards extra. It might be good. Yeah, that's the that's On the club. On the green, about 18 feet to the hole. A chance for birdie. Come on, baby. Come on. <sighs> Just a little firm. A little softer, that might have worked. Wow, and that rolled too. Putting for par here. Oh, and in the cup. Wow. That barely dropped in. That could have been another bogue. All right. We had a good run there in the, in the middle of the uh, round. 7, 9, 10, 12, every other hole. Actually, 5, 7, 9, 10, and 12. Well, 5, 7, 9, 10, and it's two in a row, and then another every other. So not a bad round overall, I'll take that. It's a tough course. One shot up on Duffner. Two up on Bradley, Donald, Ogilvy, Pedersen. We'll see each other again tomorrow. That's it from here in the tower. Jim Nance and Dave Ferry. Yeah, I don't get any more experience, man. It sucks. I just get coins, I guess, now. Oh, well. Cool. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. That's round one at Oakmont, and we'll see everybody in the next vid, I think, hopefully. So take care.